Well, it's after nine o'clock and it's Sunday morning and I've come to my favourite car boat, which is the first one of the season. And uh, it's absolutely uh, massive by the look of things. It's a beautiful day. Um, but I've not been sleeping so well, so I thought, well, I'll do it on this basis. If I get up, I get up. If I don't, I don't. And uh, although this week I've been waking up at either three o'clock or five o'clock, I actually woke up at uh, eight o'clock this morning. <laughs> So, anyway, we're on limited funds as well. So let's see what you can get on limited funds and late. Uh, £24.70, I think I had in my purse. So, uh, yeah, let's see what we can pick up at this late hour. So what did I get on my challenge then? Well, not very much at all. I think the thing about it is, is... Uh, on a normal day I would have thought this, but I didn't because I've been tired. But when you're limited to funds, you should get up early. Get up early, get in early, just spend what you've got and go home. And, um, you know, you probably have spent it all in the first time round. <clears throat> so, I did pick up some stuff, but I only spent £10. Uh, and £1 of that were on the spare part for me, brother for something. So £9 for my stuff, and uh, this is it, this is as good as it gets. There's a pirate ship which is, it's in pretty good order really, needs a good dust, and uh, it's only a Chad Valley one, so it'll not get masses of money, but it's only cost me £2, uh, and there's a couple of pirates on it there. See, not everybody can afford Playmobil and all that, can they? So, nice little toy for a little em. And there were some random pirates in it. And she said, oh, they're just random. Um, so she put them in. But I recognised Jake and the Neverland Pirates. And uh, Buccaneer. Uh, Captain Flynn in there. Uh, and a couple of bits out of one of the sets. So what I'll do is I'll hang on to those until I get the Jolly Roger. Uh, pirate ship as you can see there pound for that one for my bundle and 150 for that one which is Peppa Pig and she also charged me 150 for these six um, ELC magnetic vehicles and the next store by the way there was a guy there that's notoriously expensive and I was quite intrigued because he got some of these and I thought well I'll just ask him £2 each he wanted, so 6 for one fifty. so don't always pick up what you see, wait for another stall, these were in a rummage pot and he was doing 4 for a pound, so I got the three Bob the Builder uh, bits there, because uh, I'd only got a couple of figures and they went in the last lots, but we've got Pilchard, the cat, we've got Mr Spud, and um, no he's not, what's his name, Farmer, Oh, it'll come to me, don't worry about it. And uh, Bob, of course, and then we've got Maca Packer. Uh, it'll just go in my rummage pot. And then I got two items of clothing, which were a pound each. And um, I've got a Peruna midi skirt, sort of flary one. Um, it's a nicer blue than it looks on that screen. Uh, and it's a lined Peruna skirt, so. I'll put that on for about a tenner. And uh, a regatta, uh, windproof lined coat, again, pound. So, uh, do you know, it does look a funny colour. It looks lilac on there, and it's not. It's um, it's like a sea green. So, yes, that's it. Spent a tenner. So, we've got three that we can list as it is. No, four with the cars because I'll do that as a job lot and then rest is bundle fodder anyway what I'm up to at the moment is uh, look away if you don't want to get dizzy don't look at my floor still I'm too hoovered oh dear I can't carry a hoover up I'll have to get Ubi to bring it up for me oh, it's gone a bit hazy right what I'm about to do is film um, this lot here are part of uh, a Playmobil set that I can't complete and I don't want to buy bits for it. So I'm going to do them as parts. So I thought while I've got them, I will refilm the multi-variation 
uh, listing tool in eBay uh, because people found it helpful I think last time so I'm going to redo that just just with these little parts so that I can uh, I can show it you basically rather than selling this as a as a little bundle of parts I'll I'll do that listing for you so I'm going to get that done this afternoon but uh, I think my daughter's about to come uh, and see us in about an hour so I've got another one here to do later as well 6634 parts and uh, look I've just found all these out look at these little kiddies aren't they cute look there's even a baby look little baby look at them <laughs> look they've even got a teddy one's got a pot on a couple of them have got pots on the leg <laughs> and these with the when you get swimming pools and stuff, it's nice to have some with no shoes on. And uh, look at him. Um, yeah, that's them. Oh. I was just going to show you. I was just going to show you that I need to start doing some gardening. And I've caught my husband, look. Look. There he is. <laughs> Hard at it. <laughs> anyway, I've got to let him off because he's got all the garden furniture out. And uh, we, you can't, we can. We've got the umbrella in the dining and then the little things. Anyway, my job is getting these uh, flower beds done. Can you see on that one, all my mum's forget me nots have come back again? Oh, I get emotional when I see them. So that's my excuse why I don't dig early because I'll need to know where all forget me nots are. So I pulled a lot of weeds up out of that and now I've got to do that one. So when are you supposed to do it though? Because I need to list. Do you know what? It is Monday morning, the 29th of April, which means the confession to make is I've not filmed anything this week since Monday um, other, for vlog. Uh, other than that, I've done the multi variation listing and uploaded that. Then I just needed to get cracking because we were off to Bristol for the weekend. So I just, sorry about that, but. Think anything else done for vlogging so monday morning i've had a fantastic weekend uh, i vlogged nothing at all because i knew there'd be a lot of people doing it anyway and i had a fantastic drive down with kelly um quite a few hours and lots of chatting and stopped for a cuppa and cake and uh, that were a great start to weekend um traffic were pretty light so it were a better trip than i thought and uh, it's a long way to go for an overnight stay but uh, worth it yeah lots and lots of people i think kelly counted over 55 people at one point um and i think there were a few more that were actually sat somewhere else so um we had a raffle i'll show you in a bit what i won in the raffle uh, took some prizes down myself as well and josh has already said he loved his prize that he picked um went to a car boot with carla on sunday morning and um Kath Palmer and uh, Aid, uh, Lex, and I think some other girls went as well. So I'll show you what I got on that. And now I want to get my parcels done to send out straight away. So shall I just fetch them? No, we'll go picking. Let's go picking. See you in a minute. Right, so I'm up here. We've got our key bag of them ready. And we'll start. I'll do clothes first. So French Connection Women's Top and a black cotton sundress. Look away, French connection, oh, black sundress, um, French ED, uh, FL French, French connection top, so if I hold that there you won't go as dizzy, uh, any more clothes? Black bodice lace front. Oh, I'd send offers on that, and it's a lovely, lovely item. So, I see black bodice. Black bodice top. Again, one. Any more clothing? No, that's it for clothing. So, oh, I'll go back. Go back. Right, so 
little tykes. I've got two ships, so I've put hashtag two at the end of that. So little tykes ship. Hashtag two. That one. That little thing. Doll, 18 inch My Sweet Family Doll. And I stood all my dolls up in here, you know, because I've done all the hair and everything. So she is this one. Come on, love. You're going to a new home. Downstairs, dinosaurs. They will be all okay now. Okay now, and dinosaurs. Uh, micro mashes. And I want green goblin. Green goblin somewhere. There we go. Green goblin. Which are downstairs. Oh, blimey. I've got loads of cater creating books and uh, I've sold one. It took forever to sell one. Uh, knitting pattern, not worth much. Uh, tub of Duplo over 50 pieces. So, green tub. Slightly worrying. Um, come on, shout at me. Oh. Right. Right, it's worrying that. I'll come back to you in a minute. find things straight away it's slightly worrying because they usually can so what did I find I found this one see this is what can happen when you don't pay attention paid off with myself now this one I've got on the shelf and I can't find the other one so I've had a look in my souls and luckily it's within the last three months and this has come up and this one had sold and gone out and left me great feedback now bear in mind this set's about half the size of the other one. There's no wonder I've got some good feedback and no complaints. So I've now relisted this one and got to tell the other buyer that I haven't got one, which really annoys me um, for just not concentrating. But there you go. That's what we can do sometimes. I suppose it's a lot bit first time. Uh, anybody's ever done that? Hey dear. Now also in Bristol there was a lady called Susan, she's not a YouTuber, she's a subscriber there and she came up to me uh, and had a lovely little chat with me, said hello and um, she's watching my channel and obviously she knows I do toys so she brought me, I got in the boot, two bags full of toys for me. Um, she says I don't know what they are, you'll probably will um, and just take them and see if you can do anything with them so have a look, we've got, I've had a quick look myself to be honest but we've got this uh, Playmobil recycling truck and it's got a couple of 
people in there. It's got a little bit missing there, but that don't matter because I can put it in a, a bundle of plain bill. We've also got odd bits and bobs in here, which um, there's like different Ben 10 figures and other figures that I've not, not even identified yet. So I'm going to look through and see if any of these are any good for my bundle uh, box. You know, if we're going to need spares for things. Uh, and then anything else, what I'll do is probably do a bag of daft toys and take it to charity shop. That's good. Then this one is, I did, you know, this is mega box. Um, it's Portal of Fire, I've looked up since. Uh, it's uh, mega box dinosaurs. These light up uh, normally. Now there's two dragons in there. Um, unfortunately, they haven't got any wings. So I can't really do anything with those, Susan. So, um, but you, you wouldn't have known that. So that's... That's those. However, these I'm going to put as a bundle. So I'm going to uh, do these as a Fire and Ice Dragons bundle for spares. Because I suppose some people when they're building, they like, um, they like making up bigger sets and stuff. So I've got quite a lot of the bits to it. Yeah, these are just little guardians in the purple. Um, there, look, there's lo like, lots of little tiny figures. So I'm going to put those on, thank you very much. I'm going to do that as a job lot and um, see what we get on auction for that one. There's lots of walls and lots of walls and things, so I'll put that on as a bun. So thank you for thinking about me, that's really, really kind. And uh, I'll see how we go with that one. Thank you. Right, and another little prezzy I got was Sam, that's really selling Polly. She'd said she'd got some bits and bobs and she's brought me this box. I mean, me and Carl were like, nice box. Um, this box and packaging, and it's full of little figures for me rummage pot. So, things you can't do anything with. And she's going, what's that? What's that? And I'm going, uh, Mega Blocks. So, we've got Mega Blocks Pirates. We've got elephants and giraffes and things. They go in um, a Noah's Ark shape sort of. I've got horse and cow uh, and a sheep for another Noah's Ark uh, and a pig. And I have got a Noah's Ark that's missing an animal. Now I told her that I thought it was the horse. So I'm going to have a look. Now these are what I listed before I went away. And I still haven't put them in my loft. So let's just move that out of the way. Oh, reselling in action with this, isn't it? And you know this cupboard, it's still full of stuff. So, we have Noah's Ark here. And let's have a look. Oh, I've got Noah. I've got my pig, horse, sheep and a rope in. Thank you, Sam. That's now finished. You see, there the others. They go in the. They go in the bottom. So I've now got some spares for if I get another Noah's Ark. So that's lovely. I've got this, which is a um, um, uh, telescope thing, and uh, I don't know what it's for. If anybody knows, let me know. Um, and these are really. Well, they're precious to me because the children, early learning centre children, which I don't get as many in the great though, if I get a school or anything. Uh, a couple of jogging tins. And uh, a yeah, little girl in the wheelchair. And a uh, packing nut. So, thank you very much. Thanks, Sam. Great, that. Hello, everybody. Right, listen. I was thinking I might be getting a bit boring. I'm not sure what everybody wants to see on this. And, and I ain't got any toys. I've got no holes. Because uh, uh, being in Bristol. Oh, and by the way, if you were in Bristol and had a chat with you, it were lovely. But I'm not going to give anybody's names because then I've missed some out and, and not. But uh, it was fantastic. Um, but there were a few that I didn't actually get round. And I was beating myself up about it thinking, oh, I didn't speak to... X, Y and Z 
however it works both ways and I'm sure they're probably feeling the same so if anybody didn't get together on that meet up um, it were time really, time restraints and uh, we could do be doing it over a two day thing I think um, so yeah it was absolutely smashing so if I had a chance to have a chat with you thank you uh, very much uh, it was lovely and if not next time anyway um, what I thought I would do because I've been wondering about it took me ages to do this video this week of thinking what shall I show what shall I show but I've ended up thinking right I'll do some jewellery because I've not done jewellery for a bit um, and also because I'm a bit stuck on what to actually list today you know when you're wandering about thinking shall I do that shall I do that but yeah I'll do this anyway jewellery's been going out in it dribs and drabs but I've not listed any for a bit so it started to slow down and I do like as I said to do uh, a few different things each week so I've done clothes, done some toys, uh, done some books so now I'm going to do this jewellery now the way I send it out is I've got my little tubs off catalog and uh, I send it out if it'll fit in uh, little bags cost me pennies um, So, and then this is how they're stored so these are all bracelets so they've got like B, B1 to whatever and um, these because I had them all in this one but I've split it down so this one was all my necklaces so also so I've got an idea on how many are going out because you do lose track um, they're all in here and again they're in N to N1 to what's that end on? The last one in there is 27, no, 29, N29. And then when they sell, I'm taking them out of the plastic bags and putting them in those. And keeping these bags so I know that these are numbers that are not used um, that I can just start to use straight away. That looks back to front to me, I don't know if it will to you. Um, yeah, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve necklaces I've sold. And one bracelet. Yeah, see, so that gives me an idea on what to list. So that's that. Um, and then I'll use these numbers. So I'm going to start with this one, um, which came from a charity shop. This it's, it's about the only thing I bought from a charity shop, and it's uh, I took mine away. Yeah, it's um, it's like little vine, little bunches of grapes, and it's got little uh, little rhinestones in as well but it comes with matching clip on earrings I used to wear right big earrings so that's that so I'm going to get that done and I've got my um, jewellery stand here which is a long one so it takes long and short I think Kelly's got one of these now I think it's quite attractive because I want them all to look the same so I'm going to try and get square shots as well um, and what I think I might do is try and set the tripod up so you can see me photographing a few. I've moved on to iPad because I want to photograph on my camera. So, uh, if you're not interested in seeing me photograph some jewellery, um, I'll see you later. Right. I've put this one on and um, these little clip earrings I'm going to put a little bit of blob of blue tack on and uh, put those on there that will do and I'll see if I can get this in shot while I'm doing it uh, and show you. I've only pulled out about 12 um, about 12 I want to photograph really and uh, they're all necklaces, any bracelets I've uh, 
ended up putting in my uh, job lock bag. So, uh, I'm gonna, oh, something on my screen. Photo, square, and uh, The light to me is a bit better than I think you can actually look through through there. Really pretty. So can you see? So I'm gonna also get the back of the Get the back of the chain so people can see the fastener. And it's adjustable. So I can uh, make it long or short. So I can do it like a little choker. Like that. And I'm going to turn that around this time, just to show that we've done the long chain on it. That's it. And that can go into N15 bag. Done. Just remember to take my blue tack off. Oh. Come on, that's it. So that's it. I've already done these. Um, so I've done three, four, I've done five so far. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, actually, I said I'd put all my bracelets away, but I haven't. I'm going to put this one on. And I'm going to put this one on, which is a wooden wooden beads, sort of antique effect looking one. Uh, and this is from Next. So I'm going to put that one on as well. I've uh, got another little Marks and Spencers one. This reminds me of Pilgrim jewellery. I've got a Pilgrim necklace, which I've had for years, which I love. Um... It's a bit lighter, I think. Too light. I've been shocking today really, I don't know what's up with me, I'm absolutely shattered. I keep having to go back to bed for an hour. And I know I go on about being a grandma, but it's not something I've... Yeah, so... Um, this is just like a cord, but it's got quite a nice pendant. On the bottom, and turn it around so they can see that that is metal. It looks enamelled, very pretty colours. Um, So this is pretty quick to do really, I don't know why it's one of them jobs. I don't suppose I've been putting it off, I've just more or less forgotten they were there really. And uh, I wanted to do something that I could do sat down. And uh, I can't really do it sat down, so <laughs> never mind, I don't know I've started. But I'm determined I can't have a coffee until I've uh, photographed all these. That's close up. I 
I'll be quick to list because I'll just list uh, so to create 12 or whatever and just put in necklace and my postage policy and things and then uh, save all those and then go in and add all the different bits and bobs that I need to do Tiny seed pearls with hearts on. See if I can straighten that a bit. Straighten. I don't wear much jewellery, I've got loads of jewellery. But I don't wear much, which is why I put quite a bit of it into the auction last year that uh, Nick and Andrea and Tom did. Because I never change, I never really change. I'll, I'll wear the same thing for ages. The one I've got on at the minute you'll have seen in nearly all the last videos and it's uh, white gold and I trekked myself one day to it. It's uh, sapphires, all different colour. Sapphires, can you see it? With my raggy hair. Yeah. yeah. Um, this one's uh, metallic. No, it's not. Yes, it's metallic, but it's got a uh, magnetic, that's the word I'm looking for. Magnetic clasp. I don't think I'm. Uh... Ah, it needs to dangle better. forgot there was this has got a bracelet um, right that keeps attaching itself I need a pin mm, pin pin can't get to a pin because it's behind the roller blind right what I'm going to do is I'll photograph this one in a minute but I'm just going to get a pin and stick it in there and uh, add that on because it keeps attaching itself to it not like that yeah it's, it's no good on will it stay on top oh, it might it might stay on top that might be good enough One more necklace. This is uh, again MS, it's like a really antique looking colour. It's a lovely green. I've sold bees like this before, I only got about a fiver, but at least once they're on, they're on. Double strand. I've got a bracelet um, thing. No, can't find that. I've got like a black bar to put bracelets on. Um, somewhere. 
I found it. Well, this is the bar thing I've got for my bracelets, but I decided it looked rubbish. So I'm not going to bother. Um, unless I've got like a run of bangles or something, I'm not going to bother with that. I'm just going to do that flat on the ground, so. Anyway, what I've also got is a big uh, ruler, a big two foot ruler, which I'll stick on the front of my desk and I'll uh, measure as a list. So I might do drafts on my phone, put photo in and then move over to the uh, computer, thereby giving me a chance to just sit. <laughs> so, I hope you found something useful in this uh, vlog. I know it's been a bit long-winded this time, because um, I'm getting a bit like I'm not sure what I ought to show you. I don't want, I don't want to bore you senseless. And uh, I know some are really, really regular with their updates, but I don't think I'm doing anything thrilling. So, until we start with car boot season again, or should I say, until we start having car boots that are fit to buy anything around here. Um, there's not going to be much in the way of hauls. Um, I've got bags and bags of clothing upstairs. If anybody wants to see what I've got stocked away upstairs. And um, I've managed to get through most of my bundles. I might do a bundles sales video. Um, started filming one but it went horribly wrong. So I might have another go at that. And if I can't do it on the screen like I want to do, I'll end up as wobbly hand time like Stevie. So, uh, I will get you one done at some point. So, thank you for coming back to me time and again. Thank you to any new subscribers. It's lovely to have you on board. And if anybody wants any particular video, just drop a comment below for me. Um, I quite like to do another 10 questions thing, I think, because I deleted the old one. And there might be people now that's joined me that don't know where I started, why, or any of the background and uh, if you've got anything you want to ask just pop it in and I'll when I've got enough of them I'll do a video on that for you and uh, I hope you're all having great kachings and having a fantastic time and I'll love you loads and I'll see you soon take care bye